What up folks, Alex here. Now in my previous video, which I highly recommend that you go watch before you watch this one if you haven't already, I showed you how to use expressions to create dynamic counters in DaVinci Resolve. So you can do sort of progress counters to do zero to 100%, that sort of thing. In this video, we're gonna use the exact same principle, but we're gonna actually make a bar, something like this. So you've got a progress bar that fills up the screen to show zero to 100%. It's dead easy and it's using the exact same expressions we used in the last video. So let's crack on and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now the very first thing we need to do, click on the Effects Library, Toolbox, Effects, grab a Fusion Composition and just drag it onto your timeline. Doesn't really matter the length because we're going to adjust that in a bit, it's going to be dynamic anyway, but just make it a workable length, something like so. And then from there, just head straight into the Fusion tab. Now hopefully when you're in Fusion, you should see something that looks a little like this. The most important thing is this down here. These are your nodes. If you don't see this media out with this checkered thing going on here, just click on nodes from this top menu here to bring that up. Now this is really simple. All we want to do is to create a progress bar and then we're gonna animate it using some expressions. Unfortunately, everything we need is located on this quick access bar just here. So the first one we want is this, it's a rectangle mask. So just give that a click and drag that onto your node somewhere to the left of media out like so. Now we can use that to create a basic shape, but it won't have any fill in it, it won't have any color and we wanna have color. So to do that, we need to grab one of these, which is a background node. Just grab that and plug that in the middle of the two. So we've got rectangle, background, media out. And then just connect them all up. So on the rectangle one, Click on the square, hold your mouse and drag it across. And then do the same again from background to media out. And you should see something like this. Now we'll work backwards. So if we click on background one, click on the inspector in the top right hand corner, and then we can just change the color of this box. So we can just use this color picker here to change the box to whatever color it wants. I'm gonna go with a nice obvious red. And then we're gonna click on the rectangle node now the very first thing you want to do is head down to here where it says width it'll be defaulted to 0.5 just increase that slider all the way to one it just makes life easier when you're doing your expressions to work with a whole value of one rather than anything else so just increase that to there and then we can just make this the shape that we want so we can just click on the top edge and bring it down you can make it as thick or as thin as whatever you like i'm going to go with something about there Perfect, that looks about right for a progress bar, for a loading bar that I want. So that's our bar created. We now just need to animate it. Now there's a few ways that you can do this technically, but this is the easiest way I've found. Come down here into your nodes, click on rectangle one, so it's highlighted if it's not already, and then do a control and C on your keyboard to copy. And then without clicking anything else, just do a control and V to paste. And what it should do is just put a duplicate rectangle in between the first rectangle and the background node. And as you can see, it's linked up like so. If for whatever reason, your rectangle sort of pops down here and it's not actually linked, just give it a click, hold shift on your keyboard and pop it on the line like so until the line sort of appears above the rectangle and then release. And there you go, it's all linked in. So now all we've got is two identical red rectangles, which is not quite what we want. So give the rectangle here, rectangle one underscore one, or if you rename it to rectangle two, whatever you want to do. In the inspector, paint mode, it'll say merge, change that to subtract. And this is really clever. What it does is it basically says anything that's within this mask, I want to remove from show. So now if I just move this out of the way a little bit, you can see as I move it, it starts to reveal the red rectangle underneath. So what we can do is just slowly move this box over to the right hand side and it reveals the red box underneath, giving us our progress bar. Give this rectangle one underscore one a click. So it's highlighted. Again, in the inspector, we're gonna come down to here where you've got center. Right click on the word center and then go to expression. Now here you'll see this expression here, point, 0.5 and then 0.5. So these refer to the X and the Y axis. So we can actually use a mathematical expression in there to do all the movement for us. 
and it's the exact same one we covered in my previous video. So we want to add 1 to 0 0.5. We don't want to remove the 0 0.5, so that stays where it is. But we're just going to do a plus, and then we're going to do our time divided by comp dot render end, and then just hit enter. Now if we go to our little timeline here, at zero, nothing's visible, but as we progress, that second rectangle just moves out of the way, revealing our progress bar. And it will plus one, which means that by the end of it, this rectangle is completely out of the way, and our progress bar is completely revealed. So now we've got a really nice, completely dynamic, animated progress bar. If we head back into the Edit tab, we can just hit Play. There you go, job done. Now let's just say that you also want to have the word loading with your percentage in there as well. Head back into the Fusion tab, just grab a text node, which is this one here, Text Plus, and just drag it in between your background and your media out onto the line, like so. And what it will do is put a Merge node in there, and then you've got Text down here. This is text node that we're interested in. So just give that a click. And here we are. This is exactly the same as using the text node within the edit tab. So we can go to our styled text. We can right click. We can do the expression. And then we can just do the exact same thing we did in the last video to enter an expression which just does our progress from 0 to 100%. Now I'm just going to copy and paste it to save a little bit of time. It is down in the description if you want to just do the same and copy and paste. Pop that in there. There we go. Progress. And if we go back, we've got our percentage. It goes from 0 to 100, and the bar goes across. Perfect. If we head back into our Edit tab, there it is, working as it should. And then if we click on this little box here, or we can give it a click, open up the inspector, go to Transform. We can just sort of zoom out to make it a little bit smaller, or we can change the position. Let's say we want it at the bottom of the screen like so, and we hit play. We've got this little red progress bar that just fills up with our 100%. Easy peasy, job done. Now if you're on DaVinci Resolve 16.2, you have to be on at least 16.2 to do this. There's a really nice, easy way that you can save this progress bar for future use in DaVinci Resolve, and this is how you do it. Head into Fusion again. Highlight all of your nodes, so we can just click our mouse and drag. You don't need the media out, just do everything from the rectangle to the merge nodes like so. Right click, go to macro, and then create macro. This box should appear. You don't need to change anything, that's sort of a different video. We can go through how to use this in a bit more detail. But for now, in the macro name, just call this red progress bar or whatever you want to call it and then file save as and it'll bring up your save window now you want to save it to a very specific place on windows you want to go to your c drive program files blackmagic design davinci resolve fusion templates edit generators and then save it in there. It's called red progress bar dot setting. That's perfect. Click save on that. And there you go. You can just close this down. Now, if I close down DaVinci Resolve completely, I don't want to save that. I can just get rid. So now back on the edit tab, we'll open up the effects library, open up the toolbox. This time we're going to go to generators and then we've got fusion generators and we've got our red progress bar because of where we save that settings file. It means it appears in this list. We can just drag it onto our timeline, put it on there, hit play, and there we go. We've got our little progress bar. Make it longer, shorter, do whatever we need to do with it. Job done. And that's it. As always, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Ta da! Thank you all very much for watching. More expression videos to go. I'm having loads of fun with expressions, so I'm going to keep pinging out some of these videos for the next few days, or I might take a break. Expect more expression videos. Anyway, thanks all for watching. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.